it's Pat Hood from Passions and Pastimes, and welcome back to part two of this small uh, seven-inch jewelry jar. There were lots of lapel pins uh, in the first part, an interesting glass pendant, and a couple of stone pendants. So now I think we should be able to finish the jar today. So I'm going to dump it all out, and actually, I'm going to. I should work the other way around. So I'm going to just flip my because uh, the stuff that was on the bottom looked really interesting. So let's go from the from the middle or the top of the jar down and see what we have. I hope you're all having a great day. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. So this is interesting. Not sure what this silver tone thing is supposed to be. This is a like a shape of a guru bead. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Are they groups of eleven beans all the way around? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so we've got one, two, three. I think this is called a mala. Um, like a prayer prayer beads. And uh, it's wooden. The the beads are lovely. They're in excellent shape. They've got great shine to them. This is a little weird, but I don't know what it, the significance is. Maybe it's just a little bit of bling to make it extra special. So that's uh, an interesting way to start with one of those. Now, what is this? This is colors. This is rainbow. This is candy colored, I think. Let me see if I can. Oh, <laughs> I'm shaking it because it looked, I thought it was more than one piece but okay so this is a multi-strand necklace lobster claw clasp with a bit of an extender and then these uh usually they're cord covers but because it's multiple chains so we've got one Ooh, there's some hair excuse me let me dispose of that i think i got it did i no i didn't oh Oh, it's really, there we go. Sorry about that. So it's got one strand of silver chain, uh, a strand of bright yellow and bright uh, blue chain. So three strands of chain and then two strands of uh, shell. And I think this is glass, colored glass, sorry, or dyed glass. Coated glass or is it shell? It's hard to tell. What do you think that is? I mean, it's cold. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's very cold like glass. But those have the shine of, of uh, dyed shell. So that's quite a riot of color. Look at that. It's so about 18 inches. Very wearable. Um, I was going to say springtime, summertime, lots of great stuff to repurpose here. Not sure what I'll do with that. I have a lot of shell and I don't know until I figure out what these pieces are. I'm not sure what I would want to do with them. And I'd hate to just have to take one and break it just to figure out if it's glass or it sure looks like glass. Anyway. If you've never seen anything like this before and you know what it's made out of, let me know. <laughs> I'm a bit stumped, but it's very colorful, very nice. Oh, there's one of these, a matching earring. <laughs> I think that's an earring that goes with it, except it's a little, the, the chain is stuck on the wire. There we go. So here's the same color of chains and some beads and a piece of shell. So there's one earring and I don't see a matching earring and it didn't fall out of this. Oh, that's too bad. That's a neat idea, having matching earrings. Okay, then there's this. Oh, there's this. Oh, it's okay. So we got two things. First of all, there's this. This is cool. This is made out of, are they cool? 
I think they're I think they're heavy enough to be glass. They're they're pretty cold. It's a magnetic clasp. I like the magnetic clasp. Very classy. About 18 inches long. And it's um, spirals of rondelles, faceted rondelles in black and uh, silver. Nicely put together. Very classy necklace. Like, and it's nice and smooth. It's not sharp, so it would it would lay nicely on your neck. And I love the magnetic clasps. I wish I could find more magnetic clasps like that for some of the jewelry that I make. Interesting. So, very nice. And this came out with it because it was stuck to the magnet. So obviously this is not um, precious metal. But it's still a nice little chain. Spring ring clasp in excellent condition. This is cool. This... It looks like plastic but it looks in, instead like uh, a black walnut shell. We have black walnut trees here in our yard and we can harvest walnuts from them. And this is exactly what they're like inside. It's, you can see they're not huge. And so getting the little bits of meat, not meat out of it is uh, a lot of work. But this has been filled with something and I don't know what. And then it's, well, it's got a bale glued on and then it's coated. I'm pretty sure that is a, it's not plastic. I think it's just a, a walnut shell and the, the recesses have been filled and then it's coated with a resin or plastic. So that's interesting. Um, it's obviously that this is supposed to be the front, but uh, Frankly, I think this side is more interesting. Maybe it's just the way they glued the bale on that it you would tend not to wear it this way because you can see the glue. So maybe that's something that we could do something about. But I wonder what that green stuff is in there. If it's some kind of crushed stone. It's not heavy at all. It So it's probably just, I don't know, more resin, more plastic. If you've ever seen anything like this, it's hard. I mean, that part's there shiny, almost like it's little bits of crushed metal or something. Okay, another research project. You know, you never know what you're going to find if you go and you go online and do a search and say um, black walnut pendant. And I might get some good information. And on to the next item. Let's just see. Okay, so this is one long necklace. Pretty colors. Nice bright colors. This would be good to wear in the fall. It's got um, these discs, which are cold. I think these are metal. These are seed beads and glass uh, drop beads. So very, very interesting configuration. I've never seen anything quite like that before. So you can see how they they drop down like that. But with the sort of random pink, black, orange colors, it looks, it's very vibrant, very nice. So if you didn't want to wear this, it would be very nicely repurposed with those, all those different uh, seed beads. And the, I love drop beads. I like working them into uh, to jewelry. But that's an, an interesting way they've done things here. I've never seen drop beads used in that way. So very pretty. Lots of colorful stuff in, uh, in this jar. Oh, a plastic ring. Oh, and that's kind of cute. And it's so, might be a granddaughter size ring. It's too small for me. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I got stuck on my finger. There we go. Plastic. 
What else have we got? A um, couple of dolphins. There's that symbol, that twirly thing that I, I that I don't think I've been able to identify. What does it say further down here on the bottom? Can you zoom? Come on, camera. Focus, focus, focus. There's something on the bottom of these. Oh, it's just the feet. I mean, the sorry, it's just the tail. That swirl has come up on other jewelry, and I haven't been able to identify it. So if you know who that swirl belongs to, please let me know. Um, yeah, so just, uh, you know, uh, I would say this is not exactly wax cord, but definitely woven cord and just an inexpensive little bracelet. Something to pass on. Here's a heavy bracelet with, no, sorry, not a heavy bracelet, a heavy necklace. Okay, so I thought maybe at first this was like a Y-shaped necklace, but I see that there's a clasp on this and a very lightweight, it's almost like plastic. And then this part that I thought was maybe the Y is actually the extender. These are, these gotta be dyed shells. Maybe some, but it's heavy. That's what I don't get. So I don't know if some of these are, well, no, those are all, those could be shell too. Though that fit, looks almost like a piece of glass or stone. I don't know. I've never seen something like this. Very fall colors. Very, very nice. It's heavy. If it's all shell, I'm surprised because that's shell. Like this, this one here with the two things of shell. Oh, well, I guess it is about the same weight. So, okay, prove myself wrong right on video. So it's, again, 18 inches, but the colors are gorgeous. Look at that. Those, how the green is just that perfect green to go with the, I love the sheen of that. Look at that. To go with the, uh, the cream, the beiges, the sort of golds and browns. Gorgeous. Might be too heavy for me to wear. But, oh, look at those colors. Just, oh, really enjoy those colors. Okay. Now, what else have we got? This is, oh, interesting. This is barrel clasp. And these are just uh, two beads. Let's see. Are they attracted to the magnet? The, um... That part is. Yeah, those are attracted, but this and those are attracted, but these aren't. So they could be aluminum. Yeah, those are aluminum. I doubt they would use silver in something like this. They look more like, ah, more like aluminum, I guess. And then these are hematite. I think that's why the attraction was so strong here. Um, and then a hematite ring and a little, this is a little, uh, this gotta be uh, that fake turquoise, the howlite that looks, or or just some stone that's dyed to look like turquoise. This little rose bead's kind of cute. So is that one. So there's a nice, it's a nice uh, configuration. It, it uh, it's not an evil eye, kind of looks like it, but there's no white. And it's these are two beads that, uh, so that's a pretty little necklace someone's made. Very lightweight, again, about 18 inches. And um, I think it would, it, it's a little wonky when it's down here on the table like that. But I bet if you, uh, you could sort of untwist it and then put it back together and it would probably lie. A little straighter so cute an amazing variety in here oh here's a big pin oh look at that the roses a roses pin 
wonder why that one's up so high. Looks out of sync. Maybe it's meant to go like that. Let's see where the... Um, yeah, it is meant to go at the top. Okay, so here's the uh, clasp on the back. This looks brand new. I mean, even though it has the Y um, riveted uh, pin back, this does not look like uh, a vintage piece. It just doesn't look like a vintage piece. Now, maybe it's a fooler. Um, also, from my experience with vintage pieces, the whole, this part is not plated. It's usually a separate piece put on and they're uh, plated separately, but you can tell that this whole thing was plated as all one piece because of the way that's coating over, over the rivet there. So I'm going to go out on a, a limb. We'll go out on the pat hood limb and say that this isn't vintage, but it's meant to kind of look like something that's vintage. And that could be why this one is too high. I think this one should be down lower. There shouldn't be so much. Anyway, you give me, let me know what you think. Yeah, that's a, just an odd space up there like that. Because like in a bouquet, a flower doesn't sit up there on a on a curved thing like that. <laughs> I don't know. Am I overthinking it? Yes, Pat, you're overthinking it. Just put it away and go on to the next piece of jewelry. Okay, so here's a couple things stuck together. Or tangled together, I guess, would be the better way of putting it. So let me just uh, looks like somebody tied a lark's head knot. Is it going to come out? You know what? Be easier to just undo the clasp and separate them. Oh, except the cord is stuck in there. Okay. Oh, oh, this is, I see. I could not tell what this was when it was in the jar. It looked very interesting, but now that I see it, I know what it is. So there's a lava ball, and this is um, a cage. It's, I guess, the tree of life, and it's a cage for your lava bead, and it, this should open. Yep. And then you put your perfume or your scented oil on your lava bead, close it up, and then you wear it. So it, um, I think this is faux, faux leather. This might be worth uh, putting on a different uh, necklace cord. So now I know what that is. I couldn't figure out what that was. I guess you could put any um, stone in there. But uh, a lava bead makes more sense. And this is now tangled. But easily enough untangled. So here's a sweet little flower. Um, what would you call it? A V. Um, there's a name for these. Oh, I can't remember what it is. But it's obviously missing something at the end here. Probably a pearl drop would look nice there. And a little bit of maybe, I don't know if that's uh, nail polish maybe on the back. No makers information there. And it's a lobster claw clasp and a bit of an extender but there we go so that's quite pretty but missing a piece well I'll just have to find something for this and then like if I could add a little dangle then I could uh, could donate that alrighty a couple of nice flower pieces what's this 
This looks interesting. It looks cute. Oh, it is. Okay, so it's got nice color on it. A great kid's bracelet. Stars and moon. And the, uh, with uh, just some, you know, resin work with all the different colors on it. That's cute. Very wearable. I don't think there's some, it would be a name on it. Uh, you see these in all different, you know, turtles, dolphins. That's what I thought at first. This was a dolphin. But uh, the stars were the giveaway. So that's very nice. Here's a little single earring. Almost looks like it's silver, but I mean, that's that's my. It's not at all attracted to the magnet. Whoops, sorry. Sorry for my fumble fingers here. I don't see anything marked anywhere. I'll have to I'll have to test that. So a single earring, another single earring. Well, this will make a good little charm for some, or put it into some kind of uh, assemblage. Um, there's this. Um, does it say something down there? I think it does. Here, let me, let me put it on a something like that so it's a little bit easier to hold. What does it say? It says, does that say 925? I think it's supposed to, but yeah but it's gold colored and doesn't look like vermeil where they put the gold over yeah there's it's attracted to the magnet not hugely but I don't know what to say about this thing. I guess, like it, you'd have to put a chain through a chain that way. I don't know how you would hang that. Have you ever seen anything like that? And we're at the last item from the jar. It's got a nice, <laughs> a nice knot in the chain on both sides. Maybe someone needed to shorten it. So that's. The uh, strategy they had no markings on the clasp certainly those lot can come out a pretty little daisy scene um, a transfer on uh, porcelain or glass let me just oh good no pictures in there whoever picture had a picture took it out thank you for doing that there's a nice locket I could see somebody really enjoying that and these knots would come out relatively easily because you can the type of chain it is so excellent oh very good well some curiosities this time round uh, black walnut shell uh, lava lava bead for aromatherapy um, all those this this really nice um, the really nice colors of the shells and then these really bright colors of the shells. Always interesting things in a jewelry jar. Hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, take a look at the jewelry jar and I'm just going to check in the end. It was two pounds, almost 14 ounces. And I'm going to just weigh the jar. The jar was one pound one ounce so there was a one pound 13 ounces of jewelry not bad bye for now it's pat hood from passions and pastimes please take care